645, how about some good news for the planet? That hole that was discovered in the ozone layer back in the 1980s is on track to heal in the coming decades. This after harmful chemicals have been phased out. Our Sarah Costa spoke with a local environmental science professor about what this means and what still needs to be done to continue to heal our planet. Check out this video. NASA shows us the hole in the ozone layer over Antarctica and how it slowly grew larger over time from the 1980s. But now a new scientific report from the United Nations says that hole is actually shrinking and is on track to recover to 1980 levels by the year 2040 and in the most damaged areas by 2066. This is a really good example of how we can make a global issue um, a challenge, but a success. Dr. Kim Jones teaches environmental science at UIW. He explains that the reason for the recovery of the ozone layer is thanks to harmful chemicals known as CFCs, being phased out due to the cooperation of countries across the globe during the Montreal Protocol that took effect in 1989. Most importantly, the ozone layer protects not just us, but all our plants. Agriculture and plant materials would be negatively impacted and that would be a global catastrophe. Jones says there is still a lot more work to be done when it comes to combating global warming and protecting our planet. For example, the chemicals that replace those CFCs that were phased out. Those are don't damage the ozone layer, but it turns out they're very powerful greenhouse gases, about 2000 times more powerful than carbon dioxide as a greenhouse gas. Greenhouse gases that cause global warming, which contribute to the harmful impacts of climate change. Jones is hopeful that the shrinking of the hole in the ozone layer shows we can come together across the world and do the same to combat global warming. This example that you're bringing up is a success. Why can't we do the same thing with some of these greenhouse gases? Sarah Costa, KSAT 12 News. Keep up to date with all of San Antonio's top news, weather, and so much more by clicking the like and subscribe buttons below. And once again, thanks for watching KSAT.